welcome to the Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking, and we're delighted that you have joined us this evening, and with me is Dovey and Sonia, and yours truly, Mary. And this particular evening, we're going to be talking about the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God resides in you. So, with that said, we'll be talking part one, because number one, let me just read the scripture. Romans 14, 17 says, For the kingdom of God is not in eating and drinking, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So, what does that mean, the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy? Well, part one, again, I'll be talking about righteousness, and next week, Sonia will be talking about peace, and last but not least, Dovey will be talking about joy. So, I'm going to go ahead and talk about righteousness. The kingdom of God resides in you. Peace, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So, Romans 4 and 5 says, But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him, believeth on him, and in the Lordship of Jesus Christ, that justifieth the ungodly. So, it's our faith. Our faith is counted for righteousness. In 2 Corinthians 5, 21, I am, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And we receive that righteousness through and by faith. Through faith. Not our works. Not how many times you run to church. How many times you kneel and pray. How many times you fast a day. It's your faith in Christ Jesus that reads delivers you, frees you, and you are now the righteous is living holy, righteous, and pure in God. Oh, my God. We can just keep going on and on mm -hmm. about the righteousness of God in, in, everybody say it, in, in Christ, Christ Jesus. So Jesus has completed the work, and we through what? Faith in him. We are the righteousness of God. We are no longer considered lawbreakers, but now through Christ Jesus, we have now come into the right standing Right standing with who? With God, with our Father. No more guilt, no more shame, no more fear, inferiority, Amen. condemnation, Amen. feeling unworthy, <laughs> inferiority. Those are just the name of few. There's a host of them. But we don't experience or feel that any longer because we know we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And if you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, you don't have to worry about fear, feeling unworthy, Amen. condemnation, and shame, Amen. and guilt. All that stuff the enemy puts Amen. on you. That was nailed to the cross. It was nailed to the cross. All of it was nailed to the cross. As you have faith, faith, faith in the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You, oh, I can go on forever on that one. But uh, we're going to move right on. going to move right on. So I, I want to read a devotional that I just recently read, and I want to give the credit to where it belongs to. And it's Joseph Prince. I read one of his devotionals, and I thought this really, really summed it up well. So I'm going to read it and just relax, take it easy, and receive and be blessed by it, as I was. So before I do that, I just want to give you one more scripture. The gift of righteousness is 2 Corinthians 5.21. We frustrate the grace of God in our lives when we look to ourselves and try by our own efforts. It's not a works again, to make ourselves righteous before God. But we cannot work or merit righteousness from God. We can only receive righteousness as we receive as a free gift. He is the righteousness free for us, but if it costs him daily, his only begotten son, just so that he can give us his righteousness. He paid for it with the life and the blood of his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. It is a gift. It is a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift. Born again, child of God, it's a gift, and it belongs to you. Say, I, it belongs to me. Hallelujah. <laughs> so Jesus Christ is a gift that, that we only be given freely, not because it's cheap, but because it's priceless. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to read that devotional that I told you I was going to read by uh, Joseph Prince. Again, just sit back and relax and be blessed. Righteous is not right doing but right being. What do you think righteousness is about? Something you do or something you are? 
Again, right doing or right being. You are the righteousness of how, you are not, should I say, the righteousness because of how morally right you are. You are not righteous because you exercise self-control. You are not righteous because you read 10 chapters of the Bible daily. You are not righteous because you feel righteous, but you are the very righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Solely, solely because the sacrifice of Jesus made you so. When you believe this, your faith is accounted for righteousness. So how do you get to believe it? You hear it, you hear it, you hear it. And after a while, you just believe it. God said it, I believe it. And even if you don't believe it, it still settles it because he's truth. Bottom line, this is what God wants us to do is to use our faith for what? You don't need faith to know that you are sinful, but you need faith to believe and declare that you are righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. In the myth of your weaknesses, in the myth of your struggles, and all the things that we, we go through to get to where we are called to. So God wants us what? To exercise our faith to see ourselves as still righteousness in any area of failure that we encounter. We are the righteousness of who? God in Christ Jesus. In Romans 6, excuse me, 10, 6, I'm reading backwards again. Oh, <laughs> Lord Jesus. In Romans 10, 6, God's word tells us that the righteousness of faith speaks speaks mm, amen. it speaks mm, hallelujah. now what does that mean it means that god encourages not only just to believe in our heart that we are righteous but we are to speak it out mm. the enemy says now how dare you call yourself religious maybe you just got a, a strike with your spouse or your kids or maybe something you did or whatever and the enemy starts attacking you in your mind, trying to say, you're, you're, you're a Christian. Hey, I thought you was righteous and all, blah, blah, blah. You shut him down. Mm -hmm. Shut mm -hmm. him up. Shut him down in Jesus' name. That's the time you need to boldly declare and decree, I am the righteousness of God. Mm -hmm. Because of what God did for me in the name of Jesus. What he's done or not, whatever you've done or not done, I am still righteous. I am righteous, not only because of the blood and the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ that did on the cross. I am the righteousness of God. So when the enemy starts to try to put guilt on you, fear on you, shame on you, condemnation on you, making you feel worthless, making you feel unwarranted, making you feel unloved, you just say who you are in Christ. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am free from all the condemnation, fear, anxieties, worries, and all kinds of anxious anxieties that the enemy tries to put on my mind. You speak that out of your mouth. You declare and decree that out of your mouth. You can rest assured that spirit has to bow back up and get off of your case Amen. because it can't stand the blood it can't stand jesus christ and we love him because we love what he's done for us on the cross yeah. and we're certainly yeah. going to receive it and we're not going to uh, uh allow the uh, enemy to steal it from us because mm. we are what we are the righteousness, righteousness of, of god, god in, in christ, christ jesus. jesus amen so the righteous ones declare declare your righteousness declare it decree it Every day, every day for the rest of your life until you rapture out. Amen. Yes, amen. Uh, you may go another way. But anyway, needless <laughs> to say, every day boldly say, Father, I thank you that I'm the righteous of, in Christ. Not because of what I've done, but because of what you've done. It's a gift. And I freely mm. receive it with all my heart. Yes. And I thank you. And I worship you. And I love you. And just go into a worship. Go into a praise. Go wherever you want to go in the realms of the spirit. Because God is saying, if we draw nigh unto him, he says, I'll draw nigh unto you. So when the enemy attacks you, open up your mouth and declare who you are. Righteous woman, a man of God, mm. child of God. Mm. Oh, my God. I'm getting excited. So I'm going to go to our little commercial break. And we will return. Join us every Tuesday at 5 p.m. for Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking. We're going to be speaking on different topics because we know that Satan comes to steal, rob, and destroy. And the Word comes to heal, deliver, free, bless, prosper, all these great and awesome, wonderful things that we should be experiencing and we should have now because we are seated in heavenly places. And when we begin to receive it by faith, and then we know that Satan's what? Satan's best? best just, just not good enough. enough. Welcome back to Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking. We are now talking about the kingdom of God resides in you. And this evening we are talking about 
the righteous because the kingdom of God is not in meat and drink, but it is in righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So again, we're talking about righteousness. And with that said, I'm going to ask a question from these two ladies and I'll answer mine when it's time. But how do you know that you're righteous? Who ever wants to go first? How do you know that you are the righteousness of God? How, do, how did you first realize, know that, or discover that? Well, mine was like a process. Okay. Because Good. when I first got saved, I dealt a lot with condemnation. Okay. I was always feeling condemned because I was taught growing up that if you do good, you know, good yeah, things will happen of, to yeah. you. So because I had a lot of turmoil going on in my life, I always thought because I was a bad person. And even after, you know, going and being a born-again believer, you know, some people may think that your life is going to be easier, but then now the enemy is after you. And I didn't understand any of that stuff. Uh. So things were happening, and, and God was trying to shift and change and remove things out of my life that didn't need to be there. Mm -hmm. So I'm feeling all this discomfort and chaos. Mm -hmm. But um, so I was attributing all what my circumstances and all the things I was going through as a result of me being bad, mm -hmm. even after being born again. So I had to continue to read the word and learn um, the word through hearing, whatever. I, I listened to a lot of Joyce Myers, mm -hmm. you know, because she helped me see that, you know, someone, I was like, if I see someone like her mm -hmm. receive God and all the things she was yeah, doing, absolutely. then God can do that for me too. Yeah, yeah. And so it was like a really, it was a process. Mm -hmm. It was a process, process for me. And to the point where I knew and I got it in me. Mm -hmm. Like we were talking about the righteousness before the break. It's in you. got to receive it. you got to receive it. So I had to go against what I was seeing, what I was told, and what I felt. Mm -hmm. And go by the word of God that mm -hmm. said, I am right in God through Christ because of what he did for me. And it took the weight off mm. my shoulders All right. and I was able to live in more freedom mm -hmm. and walk in freedom as being a child of God Amen. Mm -hmm. and not think I'm going to get punished if I don't do this right if I don't you know and know that God loves me mm -hmm. in spite of me Amen. and one day he told me if it was only you I would have died on the cross oh, yeah, if it good. was just mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. and that one thing he said to me really changed my view of myself right and my value and how he saw me. Amen. Awesome. Amen. Awesome. The process, the process yes, of, yes. of coming into the revelation, coming into the wisdom and the knowledge. Because God will lead and guide us into all truth. It's the Holy Spirit's mm -hmm. job is to lead you into all truth. That when he spoke those words to you, if you were the only one, boy, mm -hmm. I bet you that was like, oh, oh, yes. Lord. That was a blessing in itself, just yes. hearing th those words, knowing that if you were the only one, he would have died for you. Mm -hmm. So, yes. awesome. Thank you for hearing that. Mine was a process also, but a little different because I didn't grow up in the church or anything. Mm -hmm. So when I got saved, I always, I kept thinking I had to keep doing things to earn God's love, to, to you know, to get righteous, to, to, to be where I should be as a Christian and, and all like that. So um, when I would do something, I would feel condemned because I didn't do it I didn't do what I should should have done mm -hmm. or supposed to do um, not having the guidance that I needed when I got saved and everything and I reading the Bible when I started reading the Bible I didn't understand a lot of the Bible when I started reading the Bible you know mm -hmm. so getting in prayer and seeking the Lord and I started thinking I came to a decision one day I got so I had such condemnation on me because I just wasn't good enough. I wasn't mm -hmm. good enough for the Lord. How can you love me? You know, because I can't do anything right. Mm -hmm. And um, the Lord said to me, and he said, but I sent my son. That's why you don't have to do nothing. Mm -hmm. And every time you keep trying to do something, you're putting him back up on the cross. Mm -hmm. That's not what righteousness is. Mm -hmm. You're made righteous because of what Jesus did. Mm -hmm. And when I finally understood that, that I didn't, you know, have to hold that condemnation on me that, you know, just to love God, accept, you know, I accept him as my personal savior and walk in that. Walk in that as a freedom, as a freedom of knowing, you know, that I'm not, if I do something bad, I'm not going to be condemned. Yes. You know, and that, because that's when you come out of a lifestyle of oh, always trying to please people because you don't want to yes. get hurt, you know, mm -hmm. you think you always have to do something. But um, 
when I finally got free of that and I realized I don't have to do anything. I just have to live what the Word of God says and let it impart into me and grow mm -hmm. me and become who God has called me to be. It was such a freedom. Amen. It was Amen. such a freedom. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Just the freedom because that, again, God revealed to you what you needed to know in order to really get it that you are the righteousness of God yeah. in Christ Jesus. One of the things that I... I I gleaned when you said it. I begin to just do what God says. Yeah. And you automatically come into who you are in Christ because that is God's righteousness and, then and you demonstration. Start finding stuff out about who sure. Christ says you are, Absolutely. not who you think you are. That's who you were. Right. You know, and, and you, that's when you start growing yeah. and, mm -hmm. and you realize that I am better than this. I am who God created to me, mm -hmm. not what I Because you are the saying. righteousness of God in Christ right. Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Well, I got my revelation one day. I was praying, and all of a sudden, I began to prophetically speak out of my mouth. I said, I am the righteousness of God in Christ. Just <laughs> said, what in the world? <laughs> because God would do that a lot to me when I first started coming into the things. A lot of things were just dealing with me to supernaturally, in a supernatural way, beyond my understanding. I wasn't mm -hmm. understanding a lot, but it was mm -hmm. some things were happening yeah. that I knew it wasn't me. I knew it wasn't the devil. I said, well, it must be God. Yeah. <laughs> I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Just like one day I was praying. And all of a sudden, the strongholds are coming down. I said, strongholds? No way. What's a stronghold? <laughs> but it's so funny because when, when the Lord really had me speak that out of my mouth, I am the righteous of God in Christ Jesus. It was like I really, really uh, got the revelation. I understood mm -hmm. what it was really trying to say because I realized then that it was just like you were saying. It was like being in Christ Jesus is doing what he called us to do by faith. Right. Mm -hmm. That's how we yes. know. We, To me, we are, to revelation that I got, we as the body of Christ, we as Christians, we are a standard of righteousness. When we do it one way, we do it the way of the cross. We do it God's mm -hmm. way. We do it according to the, how his son mm -hmm. Jesus showed us the way. One way, one truth, and one life. Amen. And when mm -hmm. we walk in that uh, uh, wisdom and that uh power that only God blesses and gave to us by his grace to do so because he said where you weak I got you mm -hmm. I'm your strength yes well you you whatever you're feeling that's not my nature and not my character I already made you the righteousness of who you are in me through Christ Jesus mm -hmm. so my revelation again in that was when I said I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus I realized from that moment on that my attitude, my actions, my deeds all had to be lining up with his word, his wisdom, and most important, his leadership by the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. which his grace was sufficient mm -hmm. for whatever I may have faced. Because, again, we can do all things through hope, Christ, Christ who strengthens, strengthens us. us. So that's why we, as we remain in Christ, we, we develop his nature, we develop his character, and then we begin to get the blessings and get the wisdom and to get the favor and get the life of truth that frees, liberates, heals, blesses, prospers us because we're in nowhere but in Christ yes, Jesus. Jesus. And that's where the kingdom of God resides, yes, yes, in us. Yes, and that's where I got the understanding mm -hmm. is residing in the word of God. That's right, mm -hmm. being a doer. Yes. of the word yes. being a doer yes. so when you do it God's way versus how you think how you feel what some religious person told you right well now you know <laughs> you you kind of oh you did you know no there ain't no condemnation to those That's that are right. what in, in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. Yes. So if we remain in, and if you fall praise God get back up that's mm -hmm. all Get back up and sing and praise and worship the Lord yes. for saving you, setting oh, yes. you free, yes. sending his precious, holy, righteous yes. son on this earth to die that you should live, 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 live life more abundantly. Yes. So, again, being who you are, the kingdom residing in you, righteousness, you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. We as the body of Christ, if we would just get that, that Noah in us to the point that we just do what God says to do, we let the works that he's preordained and destined for each and every one of us to carry forth and carry through. 
because every joint supplies and God is the one that's working things up, working things out according to his timetable, his wisdom, his plan. You can't fail in Christ Jesus. You can't be stopped when you're in Christ Jesus. No matter what comes at you, God's got you. So I'm going to end it right this and because, again, I'm getting a little excited up over here. Amen. Get excited. Any, any, any more to Get say excited. before I close it out, ladies, yeah. about being the righteous? You're doing awesome, no, Pastor. No, I just want <laughs> to just let the audience out there know. Wake up every day and say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Not in your thoughts, not in your attitude, not in the world's way, not in uh, uh, the religious ways, but in Christ Jesus. Know who you are. Know your worth. Know your value. Know what God says about you. Know that no matter what, he's got good news for the saints of the Most High God. And ain't no drama, trauma, treachery, or no evil works of the enemy can cancel out the works, the wisdom, Amen. and the power of God Amen. over a child of God. So when you wake up in the morning, you say, God, I thank you for this day. Whatever you have planned, whatever you preordained, whatever you destined for my life, I receive it because I am the righteousness of you, Father, in Christ Jesus, your precious Holy Son. And I thank you. And I thank you for your grace, your power, your wisdom, the authority you gave me. And I walk mm -hmm. before you upright in Jesus' name. God bless you. And hopefully we'll see you next week for the righteousness of God resides in you so there's peace and joy it'll be in next week's peace right peace peace <laughs> god bless <laughs>